Hey, what's up YouTube? Andrew here. Today we're taking a look at the brand spanking new Alienware 17. This laptop features the new design and the killer GTX 10 series GPUs. Let's take a look. What's up guys? I'm back with another review and today we're taking a look at the Alienware 17. This is an all new laptop for late 2016. Also upgraded from my Canon 70D to the Panasonic G7. I might spring for the GH4. Let me know what you guys think. The new Alienware R17 features an all new design that features an aluminum exterior lid that feels very cool to touch. And you have your two vents for your fans towards the back. The side view has these very cool LED lights that makes an awesome light show. This laptop is a tank, it comes in at an average weight of 9.74 pounds, and its thickest point comes in at 1.181 inches. The build quality on this laptop is top notch, there's hardly any keyboard or display flex. The bottom panel is super easy to upgrade, simply remove these 7 screws and you'll have easy access. Here goes your 2.5 inch hard drive, 2 sodium RAM slots, 3 M.2 SSD slots, and your subwoofer which is missing on the 15 inch model. Let's go and break down the specs. You're getting a quad core i7 that's 6700HQ, 16GB of DDR4 RAM, the killer GTX 1060 with 60GB of GDDR5, 1TB drive with 128GB SSD, 1920x1080p 1080p IPS panel, and the retail price of this configuration is $1799. The interior has this soft touch finish, kind of like the one found on the Dell XPS 13 and 15, which makes it a pleasure to use. The bottom section is made out of aluminum and it feels very sturdy. You also get these big vents here up top for the fans. Let's take a look at the ports towards the back. You got your RJ45 Ethernet, mini display port, full size HDMI, Thunderbolt 3, external GPU port, and your charging port. The right side is pretty smooth and limited with a USB 3 and exhaust vent. On the left you got your security lock slot, exhaust vent, USB Type-C 3.1, USB 3, and your audio jacks. This model features the Tobii eye tracking which enables your eyes to kind of act like a controller. The iris scanners are located under Alienware logo and here's the quick test of it in action. This is live in action, I'm looking towards the left, pressing the space bar, looking towards the middle, looking towards the right now. It feels weird at first trying to use your eyes as a controller, however it did give me a headache and it might vary from person to person. So far this is a pretty cool innovation that I can see take off in the future. And this laptop is also VR ready so get ready for that virtual reality. The processor on here is wicked fast, you're rocking the latest Intel Skylake i7-6700HQ which offers insane horsepower. This laptop features Nvidia's latest 10 series Pascal based GPUs which offer incredible performance. With this GPU you can expect to play many of today's high end games on high to ultra settings at 1080p without a problem. And if 4K gaming is on your priority you have to step up to the GTX 1070 and the 4K panel which will put you at a ballpark at around 2349 US. The new GTX 1060 offers incredible desktop level performance. Here I have Battlefield 4 running on ultra settings at 1920x1080p, I'm getting well over 100 frames per second. After about 45 minutes of Battlefield 4 gameplay, the fans will get pretty loud at around 49 to 52 decibels. There was no thermal throttling and the exterior temperatures of this laptop was excellent. Overall Alienware did an awesome job on the thermal management. The trackpad is large and offers multiple color options that you can custom configure in the Alienware control panel. Two finger scrolling and multi touch gestures are all on point. Tracking has been superb as well. Overall Dell really hooked it up on this trackpad. This keyboard is large and spacious and offers excellent tactile feedback. You also get 2.2mm of key travel which gives you good response. The Alienware FX control panel allows you to customize your keyboard to customizable zone colors based on your preference. There are 4 displays to choose from but my specific model has the second level which features a 17.3 inch full HD IPS anti glare with 300 nits. You also get the Toby IR eye tracking. The Spider 4 Pro reported 97% of sRGB and 75% of Adobe RGB. Overall these are excellent scores for this panel. You also get a wide viewing angle thanks to the IPS panel. You also get an anti-glare coating which will definitely help reduce glare. The front facing speakers offer great sound quality and you also get that built in subwoofer that has that nice low end kick during Battlefield 4 action. Battery performance has been pretty solid. The base model comes with a 68 watt hour battery pack, however I opted for the upgrade which came at $50 which gives you the 99 watt hour battery pack. With this upgrade, I'm getting around 5-6 to six hours of casual usage, and if you plan on gaming on the battery pack, expect around an hour and 30 minutes. Hey, what's up guys? Test out the webcam on the Alienware 17. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Alright guys, let's do a quick recap on the late 2016 Alienware 17. This model features an all new design. You also get the latest Pascal based Nvidia GTX chips, which offer amazing performance. This laptop is also easy to upgrade. You have access to 3 M.2 slots, 2 sodium RAM slots, and your 2.5 inch hard drive. Yes, the price point is kind of high, however the build quality and the performance of this laptop is first class. Alright guys, this completes my full review of the Alienware 17. If you guys enjoyed it, please be sure to smash on that like button, 
And don't forget to sub on your way out. Thank you guys for sticking around, and I'll catch you guys next time.